I think it's all cratery and um, full of, well, they say cheese, but I don't think it is. I just think it's um, big craters yeah. with um, little craters next to it and big shaggy rocks and... Um, Why don't you think it's cheese? Well, from colour, no. What would it be like up there, do you think? Exciting. Why? Why, why exciting? Like... What would the like, be? Uh, space creatures. <laughs> what, what sort of space creatures? Monsters. What would they look like? I think we're supposed to get some money when we go up to the moon. And you go to the moon for money, would you? How much would you have to get to take you to the moon, do you think? About... £10,000. You'd go for £10,000? Mm. Not on this? I'd come away. Come on? Yeah. How much? Would you go for less than £10,000? No. No? We mm. would make a rocket and, and sneak out of the door and we would get in it and fly up to space. And he would come to my house and he could help me make a rocket. Yeah. So I've got loads of wood. My oh, daddy I, I, doesn't want it. We can make, a, make a big pieces, mm. and we can paint it. And that'd get you to the moon, would it? Yes, because yeah. I we put some special controls in. Yeah. And brakes. Are you sure it'll be big enough to take you to the moon? Yes. Because yeah. you make it that wide. Oh, we'll make it as big as we can. <coughs> yes. As long as we've got enough wood. Why would we? We'll you... make it as big as this room. Why yes, we'll you make take it your bigger mommy? than this room. Why wouldn't you take yeah. your mummy and daddy with you to the moon? Because we don't want them to send us to bed at our bedtime. We want to go to bed whenever we want to. Yes. What'd you do all day? Work on killing space creatures. Would you? Yeah. What would you kill them with? Space guns. What sort of space guns? How would they work? <laughs> do you think any of these space creatures would get you? No, I hope not. <laughs> what do you think they eat, these creatures? Spacemen. Is that what happens to some spacemen, do you think? Yes. Do you think there are any people living on the moon now? Yes, I think so. What would they be like? How would they look? <coughs> they look just like space monsters. <laughs> yes. Do you think there are any humans there already? Not like us. What would they be like then? Oh, I don't know. They might have three arms, I don't know. Three arms? What do you think they do when people like us arrived? Well, they might try and attack us or they might be frightened. What would you do to try and make them friendly? Mm, give them things. What would you give them? Well, the things you've taken from home. But what sort of things would appeal to men with three arms? A pair of clubs and an odd one. <laughs> I think they'll be green with black spots on and they'll have a li little hook on the top of the head. What's the hook for? Hanging coats on. Yes, it would be quite exciting really. Yeah, with all the <laughs> Martian robots attacking. Well... <laughs> Do you think you could go? Well, well there's no oxygen up no. there. <laughs> well, there isn't actually. So if there's no oxygen, can't well, breathe. Well, you couldn't breathe without an oxygen, yeah. could you? Yeah. So, but um, if you took a plant up there with oxygen tanks on that last an hour, and you put the plant in and it breathed out oxygen, you could live up there. But how would you get the plant up there? How would you get you up there? <laughs> in a rocket. In a rocket, I should think. Would you? Because. Two rockets, rockets soldered together. Because uh, hmm. if you wanted to jump up to the moon, you'd only go about several feet. And if you wanted to go in a plane, that wouldn't go very high either, because it's really far away. How long so would you stay up there for? How long? About, about 200 years. Yeah. And then we go back to our mummy and daddy. Yeah. Do you think there should be things like pubs on the moon and that? Well, no, I wouldn't say that because uh, we've got enough boosters down here. Why should we have them up there as well? Do you think anybody lives up there now? 
Well, it can't be because if men, if the moon's been made from the sun and it's fallen down from the sun, men couldn't have got up there without if the if the men were watching on the moon. How do you know it, that the men haven't come from somewhere else, though? Somewhere else like well, this? Because you probably see the rocket on the moon. Well, they couldn't have come from Jupiter because that, who is it's horribly gassy. They couldn't have come from there. So and they couldn't have thing. come from it's Uranus a... either. That's oh, no. freezing or Pluto either. <laughs> oh, Pluto, <laughs> that's ever so far away. If you two went to the moon, what would you like to leave behind most? Oh, um, well, not school. I'd like to take school with us. Ooh, would you? Yahoo! <laughs> what would you leave behind then? Oh, what I'd would I leave behind? I wouldn't go with my brother. Not on your life. Who would you take with you? Poor people. And people who are honest. I won't take royal people because I don't like them. Don't you? No. Don't you think you'd need royal people on the moon? No. How would you sort them out? Well, I'd try and tell to them that you'd have to be good and if they were royal, I'd say you're royal no more and you're just the same as the other people. Who would be royal on the moon? Who would be the leader? Who would be the king and queen? Me. Me. Mm. I won't take any girls. Why not? I don't like them. But uh, wouldn't you need them if you're going to start a new race, you know? No. No? What would you do without them? Yeah, we need them for cooking. Do you think cooking? Yeah, and housework. And housework. Is that all girls do, do you think? No. And they have more people made. They what? They have more people made. Do they? Yes. Well, they'd be worth taking for that, wouldn't they?